Hello everyone, back again to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECDF 30 day model for today's second video, looking at temperature and precipitation anomalies for the UK and the rest of Europe too uh, for the next four weeks. It takes us pretty much to the end of June, so I'll get on that for you very shortly. Just say that we've released a YouTube only video uh, first, uh, first up this morning, looking at potential for a tropical storm to hit the US Gulf Coast over the weekend and into next week. So if you're interested in that, uh, you'll find it on the uh, Gas Weather's YouTube channel. And uh, also later on today, we're going to have your regular week to 10-day video update coming up, including all of the usual features, and that will be with you uh, this afternoon. Right, the Hungarian Met Office for this one. So a big thank you to them for supplying us with the charts. We can't show you the uh, 500 millibar height anomalies or uh, mean silver pressure anomalies with this, but you can get a rough idea of what Molly's forecasting from its temperature and precipitation anomaly. So uh, let's get on. We're going to start off with the week one uh, temperature anomaly uh, for uh, Europe. So this is taking us from the 1st through to the 7th of uh, June. Uh, so this is week 23 for the year. Well, the year is really getting on now, of course. So well, we can see that we've got uh, an area of warmer than average temperature anomalies to the very far north across northern parts of Scandinavia. And a little bit through the central basin of the Mediterranean and going down into North Africa. But otherwise, it's actually quite a cool scene uh, across many parts of Europe this week. So we see widely below average temperatures, really, through many areas. Ireland and the UK are uh, coming out around 1 to 3 degrees below average. Gets even cooler as we go over to the eastern side of Europe. So particularly around Ukraine, uh, just here, we're seeing temperature anomalies there of around three to six degrees below average. So really quite chilly indeed over on the eastern side of Europe. And it's sent down through the Mediterranean. It's quite a cool scene as well this week. Uh, the warmest weather definitely looks like it's through the central basin of the Mediterranean. So eastern Spain around the Costas and then heading over in towards the Balearic Islands of Mallorca, Minorca and Ibiza. Still a bit warm and average there. But central parts of Spain and southern Portugal are cooler than average. And then anywhere from like Corsica, Sardinia and Italy east was going over the Adriatic into the Balkans and then down into uh, Greece, Turkey. It's quite a cool scene there with temperatures below average. Of course, it is high summer now, so it will be relatively warm in uh, the eastern part of the Med. But uh, certainly a little bit cooler than, than you would expect at this time of year. And it's a cool scene generally across most parts of Europe this week. Precipitation anomalies are looking like this. So quite an unsettled week coming up. It's a bit dry on average out in the west, actually. So for northwestern parts of France, into uh, particularly England and Wales, and over towards Ireland, dry on average there. Some parts of Scotland are a bit wetter than average. And many parts of Scandinavia also looking pretty wet uh, as well. The central part of, uh, of uh, Europe, western and central parts of Europe, so kind of like uh, Germany over to Poland, generally looking a little bit on the uh, average side there. Overall, perhaps a bit drier than average for Poland. Eastwards of that, it gets wetter than average. And down into the Mediterranean, it's quite an unsettled scene through there. So we've got heavy rain and thunderstorms coming in off the Atlantic, affecting parts of uh, Portugal and also Spain as well. They push over... Uh, into the south of France, so it looks pretty wet around the Côte d'Azur on that Mediterranean coast of uh, France. And then moving down into the Med itself, a little bit wetter than average, perhaps indicating risk of some heavy showers or thunderstorms. Also, northern and uh, western parts of Italy are looking uh, a bit wetter than average. Looks quite wet around this uh, Asiatic coast of the Balkans as well. And then we move down in towards that southeastern uh, part of Mediterranean. And it varies from area to area, really. But it does look as though there will be some showers around anyway in the week ahead. Eastern parts of Europe again also looking quite unsettled. So we can see that there's a ridge of high pressure in the Atlantic. Low pressure is obviously through here. And the jet stream is probably doing something a bit like that. And that's what's bringing the uh, cooler than average temperatures as well. 20 parts of Europe this week. Moving through to next week. So this is uh, week 24 for the year. Week 1, week 2, I should say, for our forecast period. And it takes us from the 8th to the 14th of June. 
and it looks cooler than average over on the western side of Europe. So much of Western Europe is coming out cooler than average. Looks really quite chilly for uh, the UK and for Ireland. Many parts of uh, France below average. Look at Spain uh, coming out with temperature anomalies around three to six degrees below average. It'll still, <coughs> excuse me, it'll still be pretty hot through central Spain as we're moving into high summer. Um, but certainly cooler than, than you would expect. But warm weather is in the far north and northeast of Europe. So through northern parts of Scandinavia, down uh, the Baltic Sea, and then into far eastern and northeastern parts of Europe and into western parts of Russia. In fact, for northwest Russia, we see temperature anomalies there going up to 6 to 10 degrees above average. Very hot for northwestern parts of uh, Russia. In between the far east and west, the temperature anomaly is generally quite close to average through this whiter area just here. The Mediterranean is looking pretty cool overall, especially from Italy back to Spain and Portugal. Looks below average with the temperature anomaly there. The southeastern part of the Med, uh, particularly parts of Greece perhaps, coming out uh, a little bit warmer than average. So it could be a bit warmer from the far southeastern there. Uh, precipitation also looking quite unsettled in the north and the west of Europe as well. So overall a little bit wetter than average here as we move up to the middle part of uh, June for parts of France, Ireland, Scandinavia. Are they going downwards into Spain, Portugal, uh, southern parts of France and into Mediterranean is a little bit wetter than average. So more unsettled through the central western Med than you would expect. Uh, from central uh, parts of Europe into the east, it looks near normal with precipitation, but it's a bit unsettled in this northeast corner. Corner, down towards Greece, uh, a little bit drier than average through there. Week 3 takes us from the 15th through to the 21st of June. And again, it's looking at a rather cool scene across western parts of Europe. So could this be shaping up to be a relatively cool June now uh, for western Europe? It's possible, but it could be. So again, we see Spain, Portugal, France up in towards Ireland and the UK, either having near normal or below average uh, temperature anomalies. Northern and eastern parts of Europe are going warmer than average in these orange shaded colours, uh, indicating temperatures widely between around 1 and 6 degrees above average. And then we've got that central swathe that's uh, kind of in this uh, white area just here. Uh, and there we've got near normal temperatures right below countries, Germany, uh, and then going down uh, in towards the uh, Balkans. The Mediterranean, again, it's quite a cool scene really through most central and western parts of the Med. The southeastern part of the Med, the east part of the Med, does look uh, a little bit warmer through there. Precipitation anomalies for week three. Uh, a little bit on the western average side again through many parts of Europe. Might hint at being a bit dry on average for the far north, but otherwise this is more unsettled than you would expect to see really uh, across Europe through the middle part of uh, June. So it's not as strong a signal as it is earlier on. We are at week three now, but I think overall we are probably channeling quite an unsettled um, June up to and probably even beyond the middle of the month with many places at least coming out slightly uh, wetter than average. And then finally we go through to uh, week uh, four uh, takes us from the 22nd to 28th of June, so nearing month's end, and overall still quite a coolest scene now uh, across many parts of uh, Europe. So again, we hint at being a little. Of course, it's a weaker signal because we're at week four, but we hint at being a little bit cooler than average around Ireland and the UK. These eastern and southeastern parts of Europe also hint at being a little bit cooler than average. The extreme northeast of Europe, around the Baltic Sea into northwestern parts of Russia, very hint at being a little bit warmer than average. Average. Uh, and other areas have no particular signal are or are near not. But you have to say there's very little sign of, of genuinely hot weather coming up uh, across many parts of Europe through this June. It could be that the ECM has gone off on a bit of a tangent today. We are seeing a pattern change across many parts of Europe to cooler weather. Uh, it's already started really through some northern parts of Europe and it will gather pace over the next few days. It could be the ECM. Uh, is overreacting to that and just uh, going over the top with it. But certainly today, there's no sign of anything particularly warm coming up through many parts of uh, Europe. 
precipitation wise may be seeing a little bit of a change for the west for week four so uh we've got a little bit going got to go a little bit dry of an average across the far west parts of england and wales parts of the low countries western germany france down to spain and portugal just going to be dry of an average it might be an indication that the azores high is beginning to re-establish through this latter part of uh, june so if that was to happen then it would start turning uh, much warmer across western parts of europe so maybe hints are going to be drier there Otherwise, there's lots of white going on, lots of no signal or average. I expect by this point, as it's week four, it's probably no signal uh, more than anything. So, uh, yes, it does look as though this is a rather different uh, June coming up compared to what we have had through the spring, particularly through May, which has been a very warm month across uh, many, particularly northwestern parts of Europe. So quite a change, and uh, we'll have to see how things are looking next week. It's just a snapshot of what the model is showing, so it could look very different next week. But on the basis of this update anyway, uh, of this update alone, it does look as though we could be in for quite a cool and unsettled sort of June through many parts of Europe, which will catch everybody out. I don't think uh, like a week ago anybody really was expecting June to be uh, a cool and wet month across many parts of, uh, of Europe. But that certainly looks like the way the ECM is trending today cool and unsettled uh through the next um few weeks so uh, we shall see how it develops and we'll do it all over again uh, next week remember any forecast beyond uh five seven days is fraught with health warnings so it's only a snapshot what model is showing and as i say it might be overreacting to a pack change that is currently taking place something cooler and more unsettled across the northern parts of europe it could be overreacting to that but today, the ECM definitely looks cool and rather mixed, maybe even unsettled, through many parts of Europe during June. Uh, right, we'll be back later on with your week's 10-day video update, including all our regular features. So come back for that then. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.